Yo, hello, it's Ovikos from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the ghost teleportation. Let's begin. The first thing you will want to do is rotor brush your character out. We already have a tutorial on that, so if you don't know how to rotor brush, then check it out. You should also make sure that the rotor brush is very decent and also pretty long, depending on your clip. Alright, I also rotor brush my character out, as you can see here. It's an okay rotor brush, I'm not gonna lie. What we need to do now is press Ctrl to white to make an adjustment layer, and let's cut it up to the clips. By pressing Ctrl Shift D, you can cut. Now let's make this character into a ghost. The first effect we will need to add on the adjustment layer is four color gradient. Here you can make whatever colors you want for the ghost. I personally think dark purple is good, but maybe a little bit darker like this. And now we need to copy the hashtag, paste it to the others. Now let's go to the blending mode and set the blending mode to soft light. Now let's add deep glow. Make the exposure 0.55. Add S invert. Here you will want to change the offset arcs to minus 1.80. Now add S flicker. After that, add sharpen. Make the sharpen amount 30. After that, add Gaussian blur. Make the blurriness 5 and press on repeat edge pixels. Now select your roto brush layer and the new ghost adjustment layer that we made and now right click on them and go to pre-compose and you can call it whatever you want. I'll call it just roto because it's a roto brush. Now let's go to the adjustment layer. If you want, you can make this even darker by the way. Now we want to make the ghost start somewhere else a little bit so we can go into this recomposition and we can find the frames that's like close to the start but not really and press T to bring up the opacity and here we will drag the opacity down to zero and now let's go a couple of frames forward somewhere like here and we can make it to a hundred here and like a couple of frames forward and here we can press on this to keep frame at a hundred and then we can go somewhere sort of close to ending and we can make it zero here. You can very much mess around with these ghost settings but what I also recommend to do is press on one of the effects and press control A, go to animation, save animation preset, and call it something like Roto Ghost and save it. All right, once we're back here, go out of there and you will see the ghost starts to pop up right here. Now what you need to do is find a place in the video where you want your ghost to start teleporting. So I think I found a really good place. I'll actually mark it right here. What we can do here is go back to the pre-composition and copy and paste your Roto Brush layer and press Control C on it, paste it right here. Let's drag it back here. Okay, now what we need to do, press on this one twice. If you had froze your layer as rotor brushing, you need to unfreeze it. And now go back to your composition. And here, put it below your rotor brush layer. And here, press invert foreground and background. Now what you will want to do is double press on this again. And now freeze your inverted layer. Once the freezing is done, you can go back right here. And where we have set our marker, we will press B because this is where the teleportation will start. And now let's go to where we want to end our teleportation. So right here, probably, and press N. And we will close out of any other layer except for the inverted layer that we had here. So this one, let's just have this layer on and go to content everywhere fill. And now you will need to generate a fill layer. And we can do this in two ways. You can either put this alpha expansion to really high and then press generate fill layer and then just wait until it creates a new fill layer for you. I think personally a better way is you can press on the pen tool right here and just start to mask out the character like this. Like not very carefully, but like this. I personally have found this to work a little bit better than that method and just keep masking him and you can mask him out but for the sake of the tutorial I won't do the masking method I will just go right here and I'll make the alpha expansion somewhere like 50 and I'll press on generate fill layer once that's done the background is completely empty as you can see I also had black bars right here so I will put this back down right here I will actually add my black bars like this okay so you can see it's not Perfect, but you can't see the character. And now let's turn the character back on as he was like right here. And now he's just walking like that. We can go to the start of your clip and just press B. What we need to do now is we need to make the character teleport basically around everywhere. And to do that, we need to go back again to this Rotobrush pre-composition layer. And we need to copy the Rotobrush and paste it right here. Now select just a portion of the Rotobrush that was from here, so right here, and just cut it up a little bit. Let's put it below our main Rotobrush. And here we will need to add a couple of effects. But first, you need to pre-compose this layer. Just call it 
a echo. All right. On our newly created echo layer, we want to add Gaussian blur. Make the blurness somewhere like 30 and click on repeat edge pixels. Now add echo. Make the echo time minus 0 0.030. Number of echoes 5. Starting intensity 0 0.25. And the decay 0 0.8. Echo operator screen. Now what we need to do is go back to our first roto brush layer we had right here and press P and keyframe it. Go back to our first roto brush layer right here and go to the pre-composition and just again copy and paste roto brush right here and put it below everything. Put them on top of the fill layer and now we need to start doing random adjustments. So we can press P on this roto brush layer and it will pop a position so keyframe it here. Now press S and keyframe the scale and now press U and we will see them both. And we can just do random adjustments for example make the position go like somewhere here and we can scale it up right here and we can go a couple of frames forward like right here and now make the position go somewhere here and we can make it go even more up here if you want and now we can space them out a little bit more so something like this and let's go to the ending and we can actually change this back to normal so make this 960 and this one 540 and the scale 100 now we can select all of the keyframes and press f9 and we can go to the scale like keyframes and pr go to the graph editor and we need to have our graph edit value graph and we can just make it go in like pretty fast and also here pretty fast and here and at the ending frame we can drop it like that right we can also press on this button and now let's go to the position keyframe go to the graph editor and here you will want to actually have it to edit speed graph well these are going to be something like this we will need to drag them exactly like this like close to each other and yeah just keep like keep it like that for all of them yeah, and this will be pretty good what we can do now is go back to our echo layer copy all of these keyframes that we had press ctrl c and now go back to the echo layer and press ctrl v and what you will want to do here is press ctrl d on the echo layer and duplicate it and duplicate it like three or four times i recommend three and just move it one frame like this and now it will have this really cool blurry effect when he runs. And what you can do here, press T on the echo layer. It will bring up the opacity and you can drag down the opacity right here, for example, to 51%. You can go right like right here and make it to 100%. And then here, let's say you can make it to like, like barely any percent. Here you can make it like 100%, just very random stuff. And here you can make it to 0% at the ending frame. And now you can just select all of these keyframes, copy them, go to your other echo layer and press ctrl v and you want to have them copied just like that this is how it will look again remember you can change the ghost color to whatever you want it it can look even cooler if you think this ghost looks too red which it kind of does you can come back here and just set whatever settings you want here like this you can even make it like this it will also look pretty cool just having it as white and you can have the ghost be in another color as well you can see that ghost stays right there another thing you should do is go to your echo layers and press on all of them this button right here to add some more motion blur another final key touch i would do is make a new adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and add transform and here from the start of our teleportation i would set the scale to 100 and then go somewhere like into the beginning a bit and make it like 100 40. I would press U and then uh, select the keyframes, press F9 and switch to the edit value graph and make your graph like this and also press on this button. And if you want to elevate your editing potential even more, you can add some of our effects from our editing visuals website. On the website, we have editing packs such as our Halloween pack. And the pack is very easy to use. You would just make a new adjustment layer. You could go to effects and presets and type Halloween. You can just drag down a lot of these effects. For example, Halloween effect nine looks super cool. Another effect could be Halloween effect eight. I really recommend to check this pack out and the link to our website will be in the description. That's basically it for the ghost teleportation. When the ghost is going around you could actually add some deep glow as well so when he goes like right here you could add deep glow to make it look even cooler you could add invert whenever he goes around here all right i hope this video was helpful if you have any other questions then please let me know you can also join our discord server and we will get back to you way faster there all right it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya